See, the problem with watching Casey that is, it's just so damn good. It's kind of a little bit of a wow factor. Like, huh? What? Like, you just weren't expecting this. And it interrupt to our normal opening of videos. I actually think it's a very clever way to say that this is a sponsored video. And again, already we are seeing a pattern from the first video that we analyzed. He opens up with a big establishing shot, bringing us into his world. We know that we're in a city. There are countless highly efficient ways of getting around New York City. I love his nonchalantly, like, he does not care what people think. You can clearly see here, he can care less. Who cares? You're never going to see most of these people again. There are countless highly efficient ways of getting around New York City. Walking obviously works, but it's a crowded city and it's, uh, it's kind of slow for me. You can run, but I really only run recommend this for exercise, otherwise people are going to think you're being robbed. There's, There's already a lot going on here. We're like the first maybe I think 20, 30 seconds in and already you can see pace of editing, not necessarily fast, 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 fast cuts, keeping us engaged. You can run, but I really only recommend this for exercise, otherwise people are going to think you're being robbed. He's running down the middle of the street with the camera, guys. He does not care. I love it. There's my favorite, the boosted board, but this this isn't for everybody. There's uh, their city bike. It's only like three bucks, and uh, these things are everywhere. Cool little views right here going on. He loves using the low view, giving us perspectives that we normally don't see. Favorite, the all boosted the time, board, right? but this this isn't for everybody. Right there. Check it out. We got like again. Another low Dutch angle. If you saw the last video, we saw him use this technique quite a few times. A low angle and a slightly angle is slightly Dutch. It kind of puts us off our equilibrium a little bit. Like, whoa, we're kind of like shocked here. I appreciate your effort. Thank you very much. Appreciate you tuning in. Thank you. Uh, their city bike. It's only like three bucks and uh, these things are everywhere. Oh, love it. And then of course this is 360 camera working its magic. It's like a personal drone. Bike. It's only like three bucks and uh, these things are everywhere. Yeah. Right there. That is awesome. And then of course this is New York City, so there's the subway. Okay. What? <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. He's turning into the subway while he's riding the bike. Magic of cutting, right? So literally to set this shot up, guys, you got to think about it. He needed to, first of all, go back, set the camera up in this first position where we see the subway, right? He has to, right there, he has to set the camera up, get off the bike, go back, record it coming in like he's going to turn in, stop. You can probably leave the camera recording the whole time. Stop, get off the bike, park it or re return it wherever he does, replace it here, back up, run, jump, and then eventually go back and get the camera. It takes a couple of seconds, maybe a minute or two. The effectiveness is absolutely fantastic. So there's the subway. In the New York City subway is the best. It's like three bucks takes you anywhere you need to go. And if the subway isn't going where you're going, there's always a taxi. Taxi! Okay, take a look at this, guys. He's got this is, again, this is something that a lot of people don't realize. There is another big character in Casey Neistat's vlogs, and it's New York City. Like, the city is just as much as important as it is Casey. The city is part of it. It's like a dynamic duel. It's like, like Batman and Robin, Casey and New York City. When he was in Los Angeles, the vlogs did not have the same type of feel or vibe. Can you guys see it right there? It looks like the bottom of the screen. Right here, you can see somebody's holding the 360. So you probably saw, hey, can you just grab the shot of me really fast? Taxis are fantastic. It's like Uber, but instead of an app, you just raise your hand. We're going to uh, Broadway and Franklin. Ah, 
God. He's just, and then there's the bus, and I guess you could own a car, you could rent a car. But all of these, all of That's a minute and 44 seconds in, and like the pacing finally starts to slow down and lets us catch up and grab our breath. Because he was just boom, 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 boom. The pacing was moving, the story was moving, the whole intro. And now we finally take a breath. To be effective, we need that time to kind of sit back and go, whoa, 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 let's slow down. Which is that if you have little kids, I have two little girls, if you have little kids, they become infinitely less practical. I can't ride my skateboard with two girls. Getting in like the, the taxi, I don't have a baby seat to put the, and, and on the subway, it's tough going up and down the stairs. Another key tip we can take from this, instead of just telling us, show us. I can't take my two daughters on a skateboard. Then he shows the insert, they, they call that an insert, of him with the daughter. Show us, don't just tell us. To use lots of B-roll, if there's something that you can visually show also and say, show it, because it, it just helps. Tough going up and down the stairs with like a stroller. So like to get both kids to school, we, we drive them. We're those people. Hey kid, do you like driving in a car to school? No. Yeah, me neither. So there's another thing I want to skip to. You can watch the vlog more in depth. Uh, the power of jump cuts. And when you have something that takes a long time, jump cutting really helps to accelerate that time. This is a prime example. He's, he's got a new bike and he's gonna set this bike up. Takes a long time to do in storytelling. Accelerate all that. Okay, we know we got a bike. We know we need to set up. Boom, 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 boom. It's done. Accelerate that whole process. And this is a fantastic example of the power of jump cuts right here. Take a look at this. <laughs> Now, the thing with jump cut is the pacing. You got to listen to the audible. Listen to the sounds that are happening. When he's doing these cuts, you hear the shing, kind of making a rhythm out of just the sounds that are being you know, produced in the video. Look at it one more time and just really kind of listen to the audible that's happening. <laughs> master himself master storyteller casey and i said doing what he does best i just want to do a little quick little breakdown on this just hitting on some of the key points i've been analyzing a lot of stuff a lot of social media a lot of mr beast a lot of different content creators that i normally don't follow i'm trying to learn what makes them tick what little things can i grab from their videos that i can implement into mine not necessarily copy but techniques that i can use into my video to help me tell a better story. I hope this is something that you guys might be interested in. Please let me know down in the comments. I'll start cooking out some more. Definitely thank you very much. Patrick LeVar, keep filming. It's the only way you'll get better.